What's the sexiest, most beautiful idea or concept to you about Snapdragon? Let's start there. The way I would describe it, and I think the reason we have been uh, successful with it, is to really understand uh, how how to build a platform, a single chip, like a single chip, uh, that will have every single capability if you want to make this smartphone in the palm of your hand, you know, uh, something that has all of your computing needs. And it was the ability to get, from an engineering standpoint, ability to get into a single chip of not only all possible connectivity technology from cellular to Wi-Fi to Bluetooth to every single constellation of uh, satellites for position location. But at the same time, you know, a very power efficient, uh, you know, single threaded, multi-threaded CPU, a GPU for your, uh, all of your graphic demands, gaming, fastest growing segment for gaming is uh, mobile gaming an artificial intelligence processor, which we call the neural processor unit, and then a video engine, a, an, a multimedia engine for every single application, audio, everything. So it's a single chip that has every single computing technology you need in the phone. And what's exciting about it is what we already knew, for example, when you think about camera or computer vision, you see that advancements in the technology now happens in the smartphone first versus additional camera. So the beauty about the Snapdragon is we always have this thing with within Qualcomm. The phone, it's, it's small. You have to be able to hold it. You're going to touch your face, so you cannot be hot. Uh, you have to manage thermals. You expect to have a full day of battery life. But then you wanted to not be sending data into uh, 10 or 100 megabits. You want gigabits. Mm -hmm. You wanted to be able to have eight core processors. You wanted to have a GPU with ray tracing. You wanted to have all of those things that you can only get into uh, sometimes a desktop PC. And to do all of that in your phone and be able to be in the leadership position, generation after generation, is an incredible thing. And we're very proud of that at Qualcomm. Yeah, so you have to do the Wi-Fi, 5G, all the... And you have to be good at every one of all those of technologies. And pack it all in. And and there's also a pressure to make the thing faster and faster and faster. And then there's more and more applications that you're supposed to be effortlessly using. And then you, you mentioned the NPU, GPU, CPU. They have to also dance together somehow. Uh, they have to communicate well, share memory or not, depending on what the application is. And your battery has to last all day. <laughs> yeah. so, so think about that. From a company like Qualcomm, we have to be good in each and every one of those technologies. We can't just say, oh, we're a CPU company or a GPU company or we're AI company. We have to do everything. 